Good morning and welcome to another episode of Pep's Corner. Today we will continue reading our book, Ice to Steam. We will read pay, uh, chapter two, which is found on pages eight through 13. Our focus and purpose for reading is posted on the screen. So make sure you have your book in hand and are actively following along and reading. Remember to reread a second time so you are coming to shared reading fully prepared to engage in instruction. Let's begin. Page eight, chapter two. Water and the weather. Some of the water you drink comes from rivers. Some comes from rainwater that has soaked into the ground. All of this water originally came from the ocean. Eventually, it will go back to the ocean. This movement of water is called the water cycle. Who has already drunk your water? You may have drunk some of the same water that Abraham Lincoln drank. This is because water is always moving around the water cycle. The water cycle. There are six stages or six steps to the water cycle. Please make sure you are reading all of them on page nine. Page 10. How does water get into your home? The water that you use every day has to come from a river or from a well. It is brought to your home through many miles of pipes. Please look at the diagram on page 10. It talks about the water treatment, the water filtration system, and the different chemicals that are added um, to treat the water. So it is nice and good. And at the bottom, you'll notice for step six, there's a reservoir. That word should be very familiar, boys and girls. Page 11. Drinking seawater. Most of the water on earth is in the oceans. This water is salty, so we cannot drink it. Some dry countries have no rivers. Their drinking water comes from the ocean. Water from the ocean must be treated in a desalination plant to remove the salt. This costs a lot more money than cleaning up water from rivers. Water from a river may be very muddy. It may contain microorganisms that could make you ill. The water has to be treated to make sure it is safe for you to drink. Water from sinks, showers, and toilets is taken away in sewage pipes. This is called wastewater. Wastewater must be treated before it runs back into rivers or the sea. This stops the waste from causing pollution. Wastewater is made safe at a water treatment plant. See the diagram at the bottom of page 11. Extreme weather. Clouds form when water vapor in the air condenses. Sometimes clouds grow into huge columnous clouds. These clouds can bring bad weather. There are strong winds blowing up and downside columnous clouds. It is dangerous for airplanes to fly through them. The winds inside the cloud also cause thunder and lightning. Lightning in the United States. Lightning kills more than 70 people each year. Columnous clouds can bring bad weather. This photograph shows the results of severe flooding in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Columnous clouds are very big. They hold a lot of water. Rain from these clouds can cause floods. If parts of the cloud temperature is below the freezing point of water, hailstones can form. 